lately I've been trying out some dating apps to give some reviews on here and to find a husband. It's like, there's no secret. I'm looking for a husband. I'm looking for a good guy. I don't know. I seem to date well on paper. Yeah, because it's like a lot of guys I date, they are well educated, at least six foot. I will date someone at least 5'10 sometimes. 5'10 to over 6 feet because I realize I'm getting a little older and a lot of people are married and so maybe I should date somebody like 5'10. But if you're just a great guy and everything, I might consider 5'8. And you're thinking, how tall am I? I'm like 5'3. Almost 5'4. But I have a type. Yeah, tallest guy I ever dated was, I think he was like 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, yeah, most guys I date have at least a master's degree. I'll, I'll date a guy with a bachelor's degree that are educated, independent. Yeah, I don't date men with children. I don't know, that's weird. Like, men with children, they try and date you, and then they guilt you. And then some of them, like, they're, they're not even educated with their own place, and they're depending on their parents and stuff. And it's like, if you're struggling, and you're not even with your kids full-time, and you're struggling, why would I date you? Like, there was this one guy, he, like, tried to guilt me into dating him. And it was like, he was like a single father, and I'm like, how do you have time to date? Aren't you working with your kid, trying to see your kid as much as you can, trying to get your kid everything they need? And they're like, no, I work as a sales associate. My parents help out the kids with their mother. I only see the kid two days a week. And I'm just thinking like, why would I date you? You sound like a horrible father. And you're not even trying to improve your life to give your kid a better life. So it's like, why would I date you? I'm more educated than you, doing better than you. And if we went out and I had to introduce you to people, it's like, what would they say? Would they think I was just, like, crazy stupid? And it's like, no, because that doesn't make sense. But uh, uh, most guys I date, like, six foot at least, 5'10", I'll consider. If you're really great, funny, sweet, and all that good stuff, I'll consider 5'8". Uh, yeah, most of them are educated, master's degree, at least and it's california so it's like most people make like a hundred thousand that i've dated like a hundred thousand or more and i don't even think that's all that much because they say in california like if you have a family of four and you only make a hundred and a hundred thousand or so you're like in extreme poverty and you qualify for like food stamps and stuff so it's like if you're single and you make a hundred thousand, you can get a decent place to live and everything. But like if you're you're single and you have a few kids and you only make a hundred thousand, it's like I'm not really looking for that because it's like if I want to have a kid someday and you already have a few, and then it's like that's gonna be extreme poverty in California. Because if I make a hundred thousand, you make a hundred thousand, but you already have your your hundred thousand spoken for. Because it's like if we made a hundred thousand and no children together and no children at all, we could have a decent life. But that's like not gonna work if you have kids and stuff. And then it's plus, I don't want to deal with the baby mama drama, and that has never been a part of a life that I've seen for myself. And it's like, how would I explain that? That would be embarrassing. It was like, you couldn't find a man that didn't have kids. You had to take somebody's leftovers and all that stuff. Ooh. Oh, I should end that. That's not good.